G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. For this video, I want to talk about these. DB25 style to RJ45 serial converter plugs. Very handy for sun servers. This video is going to be directly aimed at, though, 480, 490, 880, 890, E49, 69 series sun servers, because that's what I have on hand. Now, the E49, as you know, is the smaller brother to the bigger E69. And the V480, 490 use an RJ45 serial plug, but the 880, 890 use one of these, serial AB. Now, I only have one of these, and it's been through an absolute hell of a life between my 880, 480, 490, and obviously the E server in itself. So. Earlier this week, I went to a extremely diabolical store for me. It's always problematic when I walk into this place called JCAR. Now they're also over in New Zealand, and I think no, I think they're only in Australia and New Zealand. But I ended up getting a whole pile of these. These are Data Master DB25 M to RJ45 uh, serial converter plugs. Now. As I said, this one's been through a hell of a life and I can't afford for it to break. Redundancy is key with servers, so I went and bought some more. Now, there are two part numbers to this. This one here specifically, there's the part number for this one. So it's 530-2889-03, uh, revision 02. But there is also a part number of 530-2889-01. Now the difference between that one and this one is that pin one is grounded. Now I'm not sure how that works because this is purely plastic. It's, it, it's all plastic. Um, this plate here on the DB25 style plug doesn't even reach the grounding. So I'm not sure why it's grounded and I've checked the signal and there's nothing coming off it so I'm hoping that I can just forget about the wire. However, with these type of plugs, um, if you buy them like this, you need to do a little bit of butchering if you get my drift. Now I don't know how well this is going to show up in the Mac, but if you have a really close look there, Try and get it as close as I can. You can see, I'll turn it the other way, that the red and the green are all on the one plug, which is pin seven. Now the pin out for this by default coming off the 530-288-901, and I'll put a link in the description below to this website because I've used this website many, many times for pin outs on DB25 style or DB9 style. So it's a very, very handy uh, resource for Sun Systems, specifically speaking. Now the standard output is um, RJ45-1 to DB25-5, RJ45-2 to DB25-6, 3 to 3, 4 and 5 on the RJ45 uh, together is pin 7, on the DB25 style, uh, six goes to two, seven goes to 20, and eight goes to four. Now the problem here, if I bring it up to the camera, is these two wires need to be on one pin. As I said, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of butchering. Now there's two ways you can do this. First problem you've got to take into account is the size of the hole that's got to fit in. Now, normally, you would possibly, and I don't have the parts to do it, so this is going to be a backyard IT style setup. Normally, what you would do is you would cut these off, not a lot, solder them together, and then recrimp them back onto one pin as it would be done here under a professionally made one. As I don't have a soldering iron, 
and I don't have the steadiness in my hands to solder it either. We're going to do this backyard IT style. Now, primarily, you have four and five. So it's not going to matter which one of these pins you butcher. All right, you can, you can use either of them, really. What we're going to do is we're going to just basically, we'll pick one at random, cut it off, wrap it as tight as we can around the leg or the, the bottom of the pin, okay? And then put it together in pin seven or the slot for pin seven. Now, when you buy these, this is how they come. Now, I've got three of them. And um, it's just going to make life easy. Instead of me having to walk around the back of the cabinet every time I want to go between the serial system on the Sun server and maybe the serial system on the E server. Now, without a frame buffer, you need the serial comms because if you're trying to set the thing up, you've got it, especially on the V490 and in some cases on the E server too, your first point of call is going to be your serial port because from the serial port, you can set up the SSH. I think, I, I think I've mentioned that before. Okay, now, the, uh, the RS-232 port DB9 of this is a little bit different again. Okay, so if you're gonna do this as a DB9 setup, you're going to need to get a converter from 25 to 9 and then run your RJ45 lead. That gets messy because you're wasting RJ45 and DB9 to DB25 converters and gender changes and everything like that. The other thing you'll need to note as well, especially with E49 and 69, is the serial AB port coming off the system service controller is going to be female. So you need to make sure if you're going to get one of these, you get it as male. All right, so let's begin butchering. You'll see here, I've got my pliers. And what I might actually do for this is we will uh, switch between the Mac and the mobile phone so you actually get an idea. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I'll just do it on camera, forget it. Now, with the website, and you need to make aware of this, they class this white wire now, it might not look white here on camera. This white wire is grey. Okay? It's white, but it corresponds to the grey on, uh, on the chart. Must remember that. So, don't, if you go, if you go and get one of these, I bought, uh, what did I get? I bought Data Master. That's the one I got. Um, as you can see there. RJ45 to DB25 male. Now, what probably the easiest way of doing this will be to make sure if, if you've got one of these, you've got to use the right mapping. So this one here, as you can see, without me breaking it, you might just be able to see there, there's the white wire. Now, the, now this one here specifically only uses eight, whoops, Hang on, there we go, eight pins, okay? Eight pins. All right, get our pliers. These are the only ones I've got. And we will, uh, let's see. We've got to combine these two. So what I'll do is, yeah, I'll cut my head off the green. Now, what I suggest you do is cut the green as close to the bottom of the pin as you can get. I'm getting my fat fingers out of the road, all right? So cut it at the bottom of the, uh, bottom of it, so take the pin off. That's all you wanna do is just take the pin off. All right, let's strip this wire and uh, come back. Okay, so you can see here I've got the wire stripped. Now, before you jump on my back about this, just remember what I said when I first fired up this channel. I do whatever it takes to get whatever has got to get going, going. So, this is probably not the kosher way of doing it, but I've done it before. Now, 
Next thing to do, take our red lead and simply like so. Now, the first thing to do once you've done that is to get the pin into pin seven. So we go, what is it? One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna muck this up. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's that one there. Now this is going to be a very tight fit, remember that. And we simply push it into the hole, making sure that we don't lose connection on that newly formed pin number. Now you'll have to push it in, and sometimes they're an extremely tight fit, and sometimes they're a very easy fit. Okay, so there we are. Pin seven. So the next thing to do now is once you've done that and you've got that locked in and make sure it is locked in. You have to make sure it's locked in. Otherwise, as soon as you go to push it into, say, your DB25 female plug, the pin's going to pop out and you're going to end up with a corrupt connection. So you need to make sure of this. So the next thing to do is take the blue and, uh, well, actually, no, I'll tell you what, we'll take the orange. Now you need to you need to keep referring to this. Okay, so we'll take the orange. No, we won't. Where's black go? I'm looking for black. Black goes to pin three. Ooh. No, that's not right. Sorry. Um. I've done something wrong here, viewers. What have I done wrong? Oh, no, no. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Sorry. I'm right. Yellow goes into... Sorry, I was a bit confused there. I was looking at the wrong thing. -o. So there's pin 7 in. Pin 2 for yellow. And again, make sure you push it in. And you'll, you'll feel it click, and you'll know you'll be right. So there's yellow. Now we've got brown down to pin 20. Which we'll do pin 20 last. Yellow to pin 2, I've done. Grey to pin 4. Okay, so there's pin 4. There we go. So we've got three pins now. Blue to pin five. There's blue. Okay. See there? Okay, make sure you push them in. Otherwise, as I said, they'll pop out. Right. Black to pin three. As you can see here, now, remembering this is going to be a tight fit, so you've got to make sure everything's pushed in properly. Right, so we've got yellow, black, what have we got left? Orange and brown. Orange goes to pin six. Boy, this one's going to be hard to get in. There we go. See there? And last but not least, grey, sorry, brown, goes to pin 20. So pin 20 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. I think this is right. Hang on a minute. And it is. You see there? 
RJ45 to DB25 RS232. Now, as I said, in this one, it goes to ground, but there's no actual grounding in this. Now, if you buy a metal one, so this one's plastic, but if you get one of these that's metal, you'll need to make another black wire off the black wire, I think it is, is it? No, off the red and green wire to ground it out. So there is our RJ45 DB25 style plug. Now, this is the bit you've got to be wary of. These wires are very, very stiff. So what I suggest you do is try and fold them in in a Z pattern. Now, the reason I say that is so you don't break them. All right, don't just squash them. Try and get it as a S or Z pattern getting in. And then simply push it in. You have that to that. All right, next thing to do, head out the workshop, power it up, make sure it works. Now, admittedly, I... Um, I don't, I don't always do a butcher job when it comes to serial comms like this, but there are times when you've got to cut corners and I can't afford for this to break. Now, on this one, make note, you'll see there pin one, which is here, right on the corner. All that goes to is ground, but because this is plastic, Okay, and there is no um, metal sheathing coming out. All right, you don't need to worry about it. Now, what the plan for this is going to be, this one uh, will sit on the sun's, on the um, e server itself. This one will go to the V490. But, if you remember a couple of months ago, I did a quick product review on a black box uh, 6 to 1 DB25 serial plug converter. Oop. That's why I got two more of them. So I can switch between my COM ports. Alright, let's go out the workshop, make sure it works. Stick around. Okay, so here we are at the back of the E server. This is the new plug we've just made. Here's our RJ45. This is the DB25 coming off SSC0. We've got the terminal emulator open. We've got Mobber X term ready to go. We've got the COM port ready to go. So let's turn the E server on and see what happens. As you can see, booting. Now, this will also work on the V480, 490, 880, 890. It's a similar setup. But you need to be aware, as I said, that if you are going to get end up with one of these metal DB25 style plugs, that you create a grounding network on it. But as you can see, it is booting. So there's a uh, backyard IT version of creating an RJ45 to DB25 RS232 serial plug. Now... In the case of doing this with the V490, using the RJ45 serial plug out, what I'll do, what I've been doing, which will change, and I'll show you how that'll change in another video, but I've been using this thing. Okay, sorry about the light, but I can't turn the light off while I'm recording. So basically what I've been doing is putting the DB25 into this, coming off this, putting that into the laptop. So there is how to get a DB25 to RJ45 cable set up for RS232 coming off an e-server and a V490. Hope that's helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.